Russia just unveiled a new kind of nuclear weapon, not in the air, but under the sea. It's called Poseidon, and it could rewrite naval warfare. Russia has once again caught the world's attention beneath the waves. In late 2025, the country unveiled its newest nuclear-powered submarine, Khabarovsk, Project 09851, built not for ordinary torpedoes or missiles, but for one of the most mysterious weapons ever developed, the Poseidon underwater drone, known in the West as the Doomsday Torpedo. Poseidon, or Status 6, is no ordinary torpedo. It's a giant, autonomous, nuclear-powered underwater vehicle, reportedly capable of traveling across oceans on its own. Designed to carry a nuclear warhead, possibly of massive yield, it could operate at extreme depths and speeds unreachable by conventional submarines. Russia claims the system can travel thousands of kilometers underwater, making it almost impossible to intercept. While many of these figures remain unverified, the idea itself has reshaped global conversations about undersea warfare. To carry this massive weapon, Russia needed a new class of submarine. The first, Belgorod, was a converted Oscar II hull, a special missions sub already linked to deep sea operations. But Khabarovsk is different. It's the first purpose built platform designed solely to deploy Poseidon drones. Analysts believe it can carry up to six such weapons, marking the beginning of a potential new fleet of strategic Poseidon carriers. Its rollout confirms that Russia is moving from experimental stages to serial production and deployment. Still, much about Poseidon remains secret. We don't know its exact speed, depth, or warhead size. Some reports claim a 2 megaton yield, others dismiss this as Cold War era exaggeration. Even the reliability of a nuclear reactor inside a torpedo sized drone is questioned. But regardless of the details, the message is clear Russia wants the world to know it has a new strategic deterrent. Analysts say Poseidon's greatest power may not be its destructive potential, but its psychological and diplomatic effect. It blurs the line between submarine warfare and nuclear deterrence. And it raises tough questions about how to control or even detect such autonomous weapons under the sea. If operational, Poseidon could complicate naval strategies and arms control treaties worldwide. Whether the Poseidon is a real superweapon or a powerful symbol of military messaging, one thing is certain. Russia's Khabarovsk submarine marks a new chapter in undersea warfare. A silent reminder that the next frontier of deterrence may not be in the skies, but in the depths of the ocean.